I wanted to talk to you about a time you spent as footman working for Lord Marham. Do you remember a young girl, Lady Marham's personal maid, Sarah O'Brien? Yes, I do. She was dismissed from Lady Marham's service. I believe so. Do you have any idea why? No. Do you know what became of her? Yes, I do. She committed suicide. It was in the newspapers and the staff talked about it. Do you have any idea why she would take her own life? No. He had a pair of stockings in his hand. He put one round my neck and knotted it. Really? I don't think... He pushed the other stocking into my mouth. This is too much for her. Surely. Why did you leave Lord Marham's employ? I was offered employment by the Duke of Narborough. I accepted the offer. How was it you came to the Duke's attention? I attended Lord Marham on a number of occasions when the Duke of Narborough was also present. And you caught his eye? I really don't know. Or was it the Duchess's eye? It is the Duchess you serve, is it not? Yes, Holmes, it is. It is a small point, but perhaps you would give me my prefix when you address me. Otherwise, with my line of work, I should find myself on familiar terms with half the villains in London. Yes, Mr. Holmes. It is the Duchess I serve. He showed me the clothes he had for me. He kept saying how beautiful I'd look in them. He started to undress me. He took off my dress. I was standing. He knelt at my feet. He removed my shoes. And he... I think we should stop now. Did he hold the shoes in his hands? Did he stroke them? Kiss them. Do you know a shop called Bilney's? They are shoe and boot makers. No. It's where Sarah O'Brien worked after she left service. Is it? Where does her grace go for her footwear? Calstocks and Piccadilly. How does she like her boots to be tied? Side, front or back? The front. He rolled down my stockings, down to my ankles. He put his mouth on my toes. He took hold of my stockings in his teeth and pulled. He pulled the left one off. He did the same with the right. All of a sudden, he was in a fury. Oh, he was shouting at me. He dragged me out of the room up some stairs and out into the street. I still had the stocking in my mouth. I thought I was going to choke. Stand up, please. Be so kind as to put your foot on there for me. Thank you. You've been most helpful. I'm going to ask a police officer to take your fingerprints. They've already been taken. Yes, but there was a problem. I should let them done again. You can have no objection. No. Good. Wait here. <laughs> 